Like Elephant Island, beyond the ice flows to the north, penguins and fur seals cohabit peacefully on land. <laughs> Seals keep to themselves, with macho contests to determine rank. Underwater, rules change, and penguins must be vigilant. Some days, when prevailing winds blow icy brash into the bay, penguins enjoy a slight advantage. This crust of ice pebbles from broken banks offers a perfect observation post to keep an eye out. Particularly feared is the leopard seal. Nine feet long and weighing 600 pounds, he's a fearsome and unpredictable predator. Pound for pound, the Weddell seal is no less intimidating. From the safety of the shore, a chin strap can only guess at the aquatic grace of the leopard seal. This colossus would do well to shed a few pounds if he's to keep up with his prey. That's hardly reassuring for the chin strap or his cousins. Summer breeding season now well advanced, penguins prepare for a different threat, this time on land. Poaching eggs is one of the skewers' favorite recipes for survival. The gentoo normally lay two eggs. The second arrives a few days after the first as an afterthought, a kind of security in case one is stolen. Chicks are equally at risk and must be protected from the prying eyes of the skewer. The gentoo must be particularly alert during the month-long period of incubation. The slightest lapse of attention can prove fatal for eggs and chicks alike. Babies will spend another two weeks in the protective bosom of their parents. Gentoos breed at their own pace. While chicks hatch in one nest, a neighboring nest is still being built. The job of protecting and fussing over babies fall squarely on male shoulders. While the male takes up Baywatch duties, the female attends to hunting and provisioning. Good mothers give their chicks every opportunity to fatten and grow into adults, otherwise they won't survive the looming long winter. The harsh reality of life for penguins in the Antarctic won't be lost on the leopard seal, nor the fur seal.
Unlike the fur seal, the leopard won't wait for penguins to fill their tender tummies before attacking. Penguins are not born leaders, but someone must take the first move. It sure to have an effect. Stay close, and have a chance. Sacrifice clears the way for a second party of female gentoos. The females will hunt for two weeks. While they swim and feed, penguins drink too. Special glands inside their beaks desalinate the seawater. Far from these open hunting grounds, male penguins continue to pamper the young in Paradise Bay. And my, how they've grown. Summer fading rapidly, females must return soon to fatten the young. <laughs> Chicks can fast for a few days at a time. But eventually, fathers must dig deep to keep their dependents alive. A recent discovery found that penguins are endowed with a unique ability to regurgitate fresh food. Their stomachs preserve undigested protein by destroying bacteria. How they do this is not yet fully understood. But it's enough for chicks to survive the vagaries of the summer's end. Within minutes of a storm moving in, Paradise Bay freezes over. The weather could delay mother's return even longer. For the chicks, it's a rude awakening of what's to come. Thanks to their fathers, the young are now equipped for the worst. From the top of the hill, there's still no sign of any hunting party. Has he given up too? 
unlikely. A gentoo takes advantage of the snowfall to quench his thirst, because the sea is off limits until the hunters return. Fair weather brings good news for everyone. Female gentoos race the gauntlet in perfect formation, foxing the predator. Bar one, a laggard pays the fixed penalty. Dispensing with ceremony, the first arrivals waste little time looking for hungry loved ones. <laughs> 